All right, so I'm gonna do a review for Can't Stop Cursing You. This is pretty graphic and gory, so I did take all of those images out of here. I edited it out, so you're not gonna see it. And this is about unaliving people, so if you're triggered by that, feel free to leave. I am not gonna be offended. So the story is basically like a mystery horror. So in this world, there are curse gods, and when you come under contract with a curse god, you are given ultimate power. And that power basically is unaliving people through the power of curses. On the flip side of that, there are curse breakers. So this is our curse breaker, Sayama. So he's gonna go to this high school where he was told the contractor is at, so he's gonna try to stop the contractor from unaliving people. So we have a couple of students here that are just chatting it up. There's Sayama being the biology teacher incognito. This perfect looking student right here is basically the light Yagami of the storyline. Very perfect exterior, very dark and twisted interior that he tells nobody about. Obviously, he's the contractor. He's gonna start unaliving people. And he starts with one of the female students in the classroom. And then a few minutes later, there is a teacher that gets unalived as well. So the police are brought in to investigate the case and Sayama basically reveals that he is a curse breaker and he actually has supernatural powers that are really cool. From the victim's bodies, the curse god's thought form, which is this little shadowy looking thing right here, Sayama uses his power to basically draw it out and he can ask it one question in the series of a yes or no format so he's either gonna nod it said yes or shake it said no. Now Nojima, now that he knows that Sayama is a curse breaker and on the case, he's kind of screwed because the whole point of his contract is he has 30 days to unalive 30 people or he will be unalived himself. Okay, that's all I'm gonna give you on this. So I thought this was so freaking awesome because the art is amazing on it. And I like the fact that this is more of a series instead of just two people going at it for God knows how many volumes. Like there's gonna be more contractors. There's gonna be more people to find out who they are and what their you know motives are. So I think if you like murder mystery and horror aspects of this, you're probably gonna like this. Not to mention Sayama looks super nice, so I love this, I thought it was awesome.